Okay, hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Can you hear me? Oh, yes, I can hear you too. But hi, Milagro. Hi, teacher. Okay. How are you doing? Good? Good, teacher. Nice. Hi, thank you. Perfect. Hello, Jenny. Hello, teacher. Hi, how was the day? Great. Did you have a good day or not? Como fue? Did you have a good day or not? Tu un buen día? Oh, yeah. Yes? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yes. Okay, good. How about you, Reina? How was your day? Was it good? Perfect? More than perfect? Perfecto o más que perfecto? Super perfect. Okay, super perfect. <laughs> I know, positive, positive mind. Okay, good. Excellent. And hello, Oscar. What about you, teacher? Oh, I was good. It was very nice. Okay. I I was watching the soccer game today. Chelsea Real Madrid was good. Nice game. Not bad. I had fun. Tenía rato de no ver un partido. Okay. I was good. I like soccer, but me gusta más jugarlo que verlo. But today, I had the chance. Okay, okay. good. Excellent. Let's, uh, well, let's begin because we have a lot of work for today and tomorrow. Okay, this is the one. Okay, today we have the, the topic for today is what do you do? Okay, what do you do? It sounds, a, for example, the, um, I need to write it here. Wait a minute. What do you do? <clears throat> okay, so what do you do can be a general question, right? What do you do? But when you say, for example, what do you do in a question a specific like this is to, to ask if, for example, you want to know what do you do for a living, okay? So what is your job? Okay. So this is it. Mm -hmm. In class, teacher. Huh? What do you do? Uh, living. Okay. This is it. Teacher. Uh -huh. Teacher. Uh, I have a question. Yes. Por qué se repite dos veces do do? Okay. Good question. I am a teacher. 
Okay. Uh, do. And then you have here. Uh, let me see. Do. Okay, the, this do. Is an auxiliar. Okay. Entonces, el primero que ven ahí es el verbo auxiliar, el cual no significa absolutamente nada. Ok. Pero es, es necesario para hacer eh, preguntas. Ok. Y el segundo, el segundo do. Aquí lo voy a poner pregunta para que lo tengamos. Auxiliary. Auxiliar verb. Es el verbo auxiliar. Se le puede poner auxiliary verb. Y este es el main verb. Entonces, el que indica la acción que estamos haciendo es el segundo verbo. Entonces dice, oh, I am a teacher. Usted puede poner acá, what do you like? ¿Cuál sería el significado de esto? Vea que es lo mismo, what, voy a borrar esto acá. Entonces tendríamos acá igual, el do, Auxiliary verb. Y el like. Sería el verbo principal. Ok. okay. Entonces aquí okay. diría. What do you like? ¿Qué te gusta? ¿O qué le gusta? Ok. What do you like? El do siempre en las preguntas va como un verbo auxiliar. Ok. Y después va el verbo que va a denotar la acción que nosotros queremos conocer, right? Ok. Ok, aquí podemos poner what el do you study. Entonces, lo que sucede con el do es que el do tiene una doble función, digamos, como verbo que es hacer y como verbo auxiliar que es nada más sirve para recuerden que es para hacer oraciones negativas por ejemplo I like English okay, I like English negative I don't like English Aquí aparece el don't. Y al interpretarlo en español decimos no. Solo decimos, usamos el no. Me gusta el inglés. Okay. No, el, el do o el don't no se, traduce, no se traduce. Y la segunda pregunta es, do you like English? Entonces aquí utilizamos... Te gusta el inglés, pero solo utilizamos el like para nuestro idioma. Ok, ahora en inglés, si sí, para ellos tienes, o sea, en inglés, si sí tiene un sentido usarlo, pues, verdad, que entonces el do you like, porque no lo van a traducir a ningún otro idioma, sino que lo usan en su propio idioma. Ok, pero esa es la razón por la que hay do, porque este es auxiliar, que no significa. Eh, digamos, no tiene una traducción y el do, que es el verbo principal que denota la acción, como do, like or study. Ok, teacher. Thank okay, you. You're welcome. Ahora, going back to what do you do? Esta pregunta de what do you do? Es decir, What do you do for a living? ¿Qué hace para vivir? Okay. What do you do? I am a teacher. 
am a teacher. Okay, um, you can say I am. I am. Um, let's say I am a waiter. Okay, so you mesero. Um, I am an engineer. So engineer. Okay, I am. Um, I am a driver. So in conductor, right? Um, I am. Uh, let's see. I am a manager. Okay, so in gerente, por ejemplo, right? So this is what you do. Okay. Y a veces se puede decir, what do you do? Y esta es la diferencia que yo quiero que vean. What do you do on Saturdays? Ok. ¿Es, el, ¿Es la misma o es diferente? What do you do on Saturdays? Es lo mismo que decir, what do you do? Yes, teacher. Sure. Mm, I know. Mm -hmm. What do you do on Saturday? Mm -hmm. And what do you do? Mm, yo pienso que no. Ay. Okay. Exactly. Because right. porque especificamos What do you do on Saturday, el día el sábado? Uh -huh. Y what do you do es como que, ¿qué estás haciendo ahorita? No sé. ¿Qué haces? Y mire, uh -huh. ¿y usted qué hace? Es una pregunta, eso lo usamos en español, ¿verdad? Cuando alguien lo conoce, mire, ¿y usted, yo, ¿y usted qué hace? Ah, pues yo vivo mis rentas. Ups. Ok, o sea, todas uh -huh. mis propiedades que tengo. Entonces, uh, no hago nada, o sea, prácticamente sí, administro mis propiedades. ¿no? Okay, so, so you mal la renta. Okay, so but when then you say, for example, that is what do you do? Okay, ¿qué hace para vivir? Y what do you do on Saturdays is more specific. Mire, los sábados qué hace usted? What do you do on Saturdays? Okay, yes, Oscar. Este, te quiero una consulta. El what do you do también solo se utiliza como para preguntar a, como que a qué ¿Qué actividad realiza o también podríamos decir qué acción está haciendo en el momento? No, eh, la primera. La primera, ah, de acuerdo. Uh -huh. Porque la otra que está haciendo en el momento es What are you doing? What are you doing now? Okay. Vamos a poner now o solamente What are you doing? ¿Qué está haciendo? Doing. Okay, so, so they are different, right? What do you do? Así como dice, ¿qué hace? ¿A qué se dedica? What are you doing now? Ahorita, ¿qué está haciendo? Um, I am studying English. I am learning English. I am practicing English. I am uh, listening to the teacher. And what do you do on Saturdays? Uh, on Saturdays, I go to the supermarket. I... Uh, have lunch with my family. In the afternoon, I watch movies. And in the evening, I, I read a book, I study, or I, I don't know, I watch a soccer game. Okay, so this is the activities that you do in that specific day. Okay? Okay. Perfect. Now let's go to the to the video and let's see what they have an explanation and exercises here. Okay, and vocabulary about common common jobs. Okay, common jobs. And then it reads this. It says additionally you additionally. You will also practice describing the activities that different jobs do. Okay, the job 
in the description of the activity. I said jobs, vocabulary, and activities. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for common jobs. Additionally, you'll also practice describing the activities that different jobs do. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. 1. He's a receptionist. 2. She's a doctor. 3. She's a nurse. 4. He's a pilot. 5. She's a flight attendant. 6. He's a musician. 7. She's a singer. 8. She's a judge. 9. He's a police officer. 10. He's a lawyer. 11. He's a cook. He's a chef. 12. He's a waiter. 13. She's a waitress. 14. He's a salesperson. 15. She's a cashier. 16. She's a security guard. Now, let me write some additional vocabulary, which we will use to make sentences which describe the activities that these different jobs do. Places. In a hospital. In an office. In a store. In a hotel. Activities. Wears a uniform. Sits all day. Talks to people. Works hard. Stands all day, handles money, works at night, writes tickets. Now, we want to connect the job to places and activities. Let me make a couple of examples and then I would like for you to make your own. A doctor works in a hospital. This is place. A doctor works hard. This is an activity. A cashier works in a store. Cashier works in a store. This is a place. A cashier handles money. This is an activity. Now, I would like for you to make examples with all the vocabulary words given. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn vocabulary. He's a pilot. This is place. A doctor. These different jobs do. Places. In a hospital. 14. He's a salesperson. Okay, so here we have uh, it's a little bit Small. Sí. Yo pensé que en la última imagen era hombre, el policía. Yo voy a ponerle he, he. Ah, <ríe> y no me da he. al final el she. Ajá. Es gay. Pero se ve <ríe> bien pequeña la imagen, entonces. Él porque por es que se ocupa un zoom. Okay, let uh -huh. me take a picture for a little bit. Okay, so here we have Rosalep Borros. Okay, so for example, we have cashier, cook or chef, doctor, flight attendant, uh, judge, lawyer, musician, nurse, Pilot, police officer, receptionist, salesperson, security guard, uh, we have singer, waiter, 
and waitress. Okay, so there are four, eight, 12, 16, 16 words. Okay, and then, okay, and they, he has the places, for example, hospital, office, a store, and hotel. For example, a cashier. Donde encontramos una cashier? It can be in a store, supermarket, eh, in a hospital, in a pharmacy or drugstore. Eh, what else? Eh, in a restaurant, in a restaurant, in a fast food restaurant. Ok, todos estos lugares, eh, la cashier es una cajera, pero es cajera diferente al banco. Ok, los cashiers, que creo que es la primera. Ok, aquí no. Aquí está la cashier. Ok. Now, let me write some additional vocabulary. 13. She's a waitress. 14. He's a salesperson. 15. She's a cashier. 16. Okay, she's a cashier, okay? Esa es la cajera. Eh, y en los bancos se les dice tellers, okay? Tellers. Okay, o sea, es como el, eh, van a, donde sacan ustedes dinero de la, con la, how do you call this? Con la tarjetita en las máquinas, es esa, eh, ¿Han visto que, cuáles son las iniciales que aparecen? Cuando van a un cajero. No. ATM. ¿Ya han visto esas iniciales? Es automated. Teller machine. Es una máquina automática, un cajero automático. Okay? Entonces, a eso se le llama cajero automático. That's, entonces, la palabra teller es la palabra cajero, que es la que se ocupa para las personas en el banco. Ok, the teller. Ok. Ok. Porque no son, o sea, digamos que son como una lógica es de que la cashier por lo general toca solo lo que es cash, aunque ahora ya ocupan bastante las credit cards, ¿ok? Pero se llama cash de, de efectivo. En, y en los bancos ahí hay cheques y hay de todo, right? So then, y otras transacciones, too. Not only, not only about the, the cash, no solo efectivo, ¿ok? So that's why they use teller. Let me see what else. And then we have... The, the other word, for example, where can we find the cook and chef? ¿Dónde están los cocineros y los chefs? In the restaurant. Restaurant. What else? Where else? ¿Dónde más? Where else? Kitchen. The, uh, the kitchen. Kitchen. Restaurants, hotels, right? Hotels, eh, cafeterias, okay, en algunas cafeterias. Apartamento. Right? Uh, some apartments, right? So you can have a chef, okay, o un cook, o un cocinero, right? In the houses, a veces, algunas casas que tienen cocineros. Okay, uh, doctor? Hospital. Hospital or in su propia oficina, right? In an office. Que son los consultorios, office. In a hospital. Uh -huh. Flight attendant? Um, I plane. Uh -huh. But where? Supermarket. The mm. flight attendant. Mm. Fly attendant. Uh, 
¿Qué significa? Marero. Ok. Eh, fly attendant es... Uh, no, uh, how do you call this? Aeromosa. Ah, okay. por eso no lo sabíamos. Ok, <laughs> yes. And you can find it airplanes, airport. Ok, le vamos a ver en los airlines. Luther. En los aviones, aeropuerto, aerolíneas. Eh, no, teacher. ¿Hm? Cruceros no. Cruceros no, porque es flight. Ah. Oh. Es de vuelo. Ajá, son como aeromosas de vuelo. Ok. Fly attendant. Fly attendant. And the judge. Lo puedes. Es? Um... Buffet de abogado. Office. Uh -huh. Lawyer. Uh -huh. Law office. No. Law. Fíjense que, por ejemplo, las palabras que nosotros conocemos como eh, consultorio médico, con, eh, se usa office. Office. Doctor's office. Uh -huh. eh, por ejemplo, para los abogados, el buffet. Se Buffet es law office, ¿no? como la oficina del abogado, que okay, de leyes. Law office. Eh, ahí puede encontrar un judge y también en la. The court. Court. Ajá, uh -huh. the court. Exacto. Court. Yeah. Yes. Court. Mm -hmm. En la corte, right? Those are the places where you can find it. Eh, lawyer, the same, right? The lawyer in the law office or in the court. Que los jueces son los mismos abogados, solo que pasan a otro puesto y les dan ese nombre de jueces, right? Pero siempre es un abogado, lawyer. Eh, musician. Where can we find a musician? What place? In the pasarela. In the? Pasarela. ¿Cómo se dice? Pasarela. Son concursos de, de, de belleza. A musician. Uh -huh. Un músico. Mm, but those are more like singers. Okay. Mm. Theater. Uh -huh. En un teatro, teacher. Theater, yes. Ese me suena más, right? Theater. Ahí está. Theater. Mm -hmm. Theater, ¿qué significa, teacher? Teatro. Teatro. Theater. Concert. Concerts, yes. A concert. Okay, concerts. What else? Uh, music schools. Mm. Music schools. Una escuela de música, right? Music schools. Mm -hmm. Shorts. Uh, churches, like churches, en las iglesias. Sí, yes. Ajá, uh -huh, churches. Okay, at the disco. Ah, oh, good, Jennifer. At the disco. Okay, you can find this. Um, what else? Probably. Well, in algunos países, in the street. Han visto que a veces se ponen a dar algún show a alguna gente que tiene un arte para la música y todo eso. Y la gente les pasa dejando dinero. ¿verdad? En los parques, por ejemplo. En los parques. Okay. Teacher, eh, mm -hmm. ¿podría ser en un bar? En un bar, yes. En un bar. Mm -hmm. Ven cómo vamos practicando vocabulario, right? So you can find, for example, places, churches at the disco, in the in the street, in the parks, in a bar. Okay. Good. Y si podemos pasar toda la noche practicando, right? Eh, another one is musician, nurse. Okay, the nurse. Where do we find in the nurse? Hospital. 
in a hospital, right? Usually in a hospital. Ah, yes, in a karaoke, Jennifer. <laughs> yes, that's good. I like karaoke. Um, pilot. Where do we find a pilot? Mm. In plane, I plane. Plane, yes, her plane. Her plane, her plane. Okay, aeroplano o avión. Good. A police officer. Police station. Police station, <laughs> yes. That's correct. Police station. In P and the yeah, yes, at the PNC. Uh -huh, yes. At the PNC. Okay, this is office, right? You can say P and C office. Okay. And I less uh, places where you can go, right? Um, in the street too, se encuentra en la calle, right? In the street. Okay, good. And the receptionist. In the hotel. Yes, buildings. Hotels. In work. At work. Uh -huh. At work. In los trabajos, right? At, at all in in the offices. Yes. Yes. In the offices, in the oficinas, right? Casi la mayoría de trabajos tienen una recepcionista, right? But in the bank, yes, there is a receptionist too. Correct. Good. Salesperson. Salesperson. A stores. What is the meaning, teacher? Eh, vendedores. O vendedoras. Vendedores o vendedoras. Uh -huh. You have it in the stores, tiendas, factories, in the street. Uh -huh. eh, in the place. Uh -huh. Ahora, eh, el vendedor, vendedor de la calle, los que están así, por ejemplo, en el centro de las ciudades que tienen su puestecito, ok, esos no son salesperson. Eso se les dice vendors. Vendors. Uh -huh. Ok, porque eso es como ya un, su propio negocio ahí de, en la calle, right? Pero los, ajá, los eh, salesperson es una persona que anda visitando lugares y anda en ventas, right? So that is a salesperson. Ajá, uh -huh. then you can find a salesperson. Eh, en la calle porque andan para arriba y para abajo, right? Eh, stores en las tiendas, en las fábricas, las fábricas tienen sus, su sala de ventas, right? O su fuerza de ventas, also. Eh, in the street, eh, in the supermarket, yes, they have salesperson too. Okay, that is the, the location. Eh, security guard. Well, the security guard is in, in all the companies, right? In companies, in neighborhoods, neighborhoods, okay? La mayoría de vecindarios también tienen sus, sus uh, security guards, right? Security guards. Security guards. 
<laughs> yes, exactly right. Lumpoyo, yes, you can find the security guards, supermarkets, eh, hospitals. And, y, y ahora ya últimamente, antes, y lo que decía, creo que Jocelyn, ¿verdad? De que eran la mayoría eran hombres, ¿ok? Pero hoy sí, bueno, eran todos hombres hace un par de años, ¿ok? Pero ahora sí ya se encuentran muchas eh, mujeres también en, esos, en ese tipo de empleo, right? Eh, in hospitals, in supermarkets. Eh, donde no he visto mucho es en, lo, en los vecindarios, pero, pero creo que sí hay también, right? Eh, what else? Singer. Okay, singer is like similar to the musician, right? You can find it in the concerts, uh, karaoke, and you can find it in parties. Uh, theaters, also in theaters, okay, you can find them. The waiter is the man and the waitress is the woman. Okay, waiter is a man, waitress is the woman. Where do you find the waiter? In the restaurant. In the restaurants, right? In the restaurants. In the uh, bars. In the bars, yes. And in the bars also, eh, también hay, eh, están los waiters o las waitress. Pero también hay bartenders. El bartender es el que prepara las bebidas, right? Good. What else? And that's it. Waiter, waitress, bartenders. Okay, so then this is, for example, places. And then in this section, for example, he's also talking about activities, right? And then you can say uh, these expressions like this. Okay, a doctor works in a hospital and a doctor works hard. Uh, you can say, for example, um, we can use Okay, we can use, for example, um, a teacher works in a school. Okay, uh, he, uh, let's say he teaches a different subjects, okay? But say a teacher works in a school, he teaches different subjects. Then we have the place. Okay, and then we also have the activity, but also the verbs, okay? And here you have, for example, the actions, the teacher works. Okay. Another one, a uh, waitress uh, works in a restaurant. A restaurant, she serves food. Okay. Now you use the chat. Piensen en una hora, dos oraciones así como esto, o sea, una. 
So, aquí hay dos oraciones, right? The first one is, ¿dónde? El lugar. Y luego, la actividad que hace. Ok. Le voy a dar uno más. Um, a chef. Uh, vamos a cambiar esto. Vamos a ponerle cooks. Cocina. Um, en a uh, hotel. Obviamente en la cocina, right? Cooks in a hotel. He prepares he prepares food. Okay. Now you think about yours. Ahora piensen ustedes en una. Y escríbanla ahí en el chat o me la dicen verbalmente. Okay, think about it. Vean que estoy usando verbos en terceras, pero estamos usando verbos con la tercera persona, right? S works, works, books, porque estamos hablando de he o she. Y lo estoy usando en singular, ¿ok? Look, a teacher, un profesor, a waitress, una mesera, a chef, un chef, un cocinero, right? Por eso ustedes, podemos usarlo en plural, pero ahorita vamos a usar singular. Ok, go ahead. Eh, questions, ¿o hay alguna pregunta? Okay, let's see if Pablo works in an airline. He drives an airplane, yes. That's correct, Brandon. A doctor works in a hospital. He helps many people. Okay, that's correct. Good, Jenny. Okay, yes, that's the one. An engineer works in a production room. Factory, mm -hmm. he supervises the KPI, yes. Okay, how people work. Okay. What else? Okay, good. Reina, write a sentence.
We have Brandon, we have Jenny, we have Oscar. Okay, Reina. The chef is in the kitchen. Okay, good. Nice. Okay, Jocelyn. Write or write it. Ivania, Lillian, Jennifer. Write your sentence, don't be shy. Uh, we have a supervisor demands quality at work. Wow, yes, Ivani. Good sentence. Okay, this is the activity, right? A supervisor demands quality at work. Ay, si para son buenos. No están en supervisora, Ivani, no. Are you a supervisor? Oh my God. <laughs> no, you don't make a supervisor, I know. <laughs> You demand a lot of quality, but that's part of the job. Yes. Okay. Good, good, good. The policeman, what? No, no. Jocelyn. The sentence is correct. Pero el significado, la idea, no sé. The policeman is in jail. A menos que sea un policía corrupto. A waiter. Ah, pues sí. Oh. <laughs> yes, uh -huh, porque dice the policeman is in jail, right? And then you can say, for, porque ahí está como que está encerrado en la prisión, right? The policeman is in jail. Pero está correcta la oración. Ah, okay. oh, pues sí, así lo vamos a ver. Okay. <laughs> a waitress works at the airport. Uh -huh. She is a flight attendant. Uh, Yes, solo que waitress. Es más para hay en el aeropuerto sí hay, pero flight attendant tiene otras funciones, right? Pero sí es como una mesera de avión, actually. Okay, solo que el nombre es flight attendant. Okay, good. Perfect. All right. Thank you very much. Okay, people. Any questions about this? Any doubts? Okay, the idea here, la idea principal es uh, ver vocabulary. Okay, to have the vocabulary, okay, the about occupations. Okay, for example, engineer, waiter, waiters, flight attendant, cashier, teller, uh, doctor, engineer, teacher. Okay, and then the location at the place. Okay, if it is in a hospital, if it is in, a, in an office, in the court, at the airport, in the restaurant, at the, at the stadium. Okay, then we have also people selling the tickets, uh, but different places. And also the activities to practice the verbs. Okay, for example, uh, you say the, an, a pilot flies a plane, okay? A pilot flies a plane. A police works in a station uh -huh, in the police, okay? The, the police officer is at the police station. Yes, okay, that's correct. Okay, the police officer. Uh -huh. Yes, Jenny? Como se, como, how do you, sí, sí, creo que. How do you say? Uh -huh. I see my video. Well, How do you say? Entrenador in English. Okay. Trainer or coach. Aunque el mm. coach es más el que dirige, ¿verdad? Y el trainer a veces también se lo ocupa como coach. Aunque ahora se ocupa más la palabra coach. No, bueno. Mr. Coach. And you can also use trainer. Okay. Mm, trainer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Good. All right. Uh, there is another word, for example, instructor. 
como en gimnasio, va a, ir a instructores. Instruct, instructor. Eh, también en las escuelas, instructor. Y manager. Manager, ajá. Uh -huh. Manager. Okay, it's for the. This is more a position, right? More a position. Good. Okay, let's see what else. Well, so then these are, for example, the activities, right? Activities, uh, places, and job occupations. Now let's uh, go to the next one. Examples with all the vocabulary words this activity, please. That we have here some example. You say, what is his job? He is, uh, this is the one you were saying, right? For example, he's a receptionist. What's her job? She's a doctor. And what's her job? She's a nurse. Then here we say instruction, look at the picture and answer correctly about the profession of each one. Okay, remember capital letters are necessary. Adding the period at the end is not necessary. Okay, flight attendant. What is, flight have the pilot and the flight attendant. What is his job? You have to use the complete sentence. What is his job for the men? Requesta completa, right? What is his job? Uh -huh, he's a pilot, yes, Jennifer. Yes, he is a pilot. Good. What's her job? She's a flight attendant. She's a flight attendant. Good. What is his job? His, remember, is for men. Her is for women. Okay. What is his job? Artist. He's a, uh, the word here is an artist. He's a musician. Uh, musician. Okay. Yes. Just in the one in the picture, right? And what's her job? She, she's a singer. She's a singer, right? She's a singer. Now we have the police officer, the judge, police officer, and the lawyer. What's her job? She's a judge. She is a judge, 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 okay? Mm -hmm. She's a judge. And what is his job? Uh, number nine. What is his job? Oh, no, no, this one, this one. This is number nine. Yes, the police. Is a police? A police officer. Officer, very good, that's nice. He's a police officer. What about this man? What is his job? He's a lawyer. He's a lawyer. He's a lawyer. Yes, he's a lawyer, okay, lawyer. He's good. a lawyer. Mm -hmm. 11, what is his job? Cook. Yes. Cook. Cook. Or chef, right? He's a cook or chef. Twelve. What is his job? He's a waiter. He's a waiter. He's a wait. You can say waiter or waiter. Waiter 
waiter. Okay, he's a waiter. waiter. Yes. Waiter. 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 The thirteen is what is her job? He's a he's a waiter. Wait. Waitress. 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 Tres, tres, tres. Tres o tres. Tres. <laughs> ah, but la T es tres. La T es right. con here. Yes. Waitress. Waitress. Mm -hmm. Waitress. Waitress. Ajá. Uh -huh. She's a waitress. Sale un tres al final. Un tres, pero como un tres así como que lo dijera un, un gringo. Hey, one, uno, dos, tres. Right. right. Mm, uno, white dos. Dress. Right. Waitress. 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 Tres. No una T, pero no muy pronunciada, así como waitress. No, waitress. 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 Uh, uh -huh, exactly. Waitress. Okay, 15. Cashier. No, 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 no. Wait, 14. Salesperson. What is his job? Yes. Salesperson. He's a salesperson. And what? Uh, what is her job? Cashier. She's a cashier. Yes. She's a cashier. Yeah. And this is the lady, right? This is the lady. What is her job? She's, she's a security guard. Just a security guard. Security. Okay, remember that in this uh, question, what is his job? His is el su de él, right? Her is el su de ella. Y el your is el su de usted o tú. Okay? For example, if I said, uh, Oscar, what is your job? Is a salesperson. Creo que por el punto. I think so. Uh, what else? Yes, I think this one. Here. Debería de. Todas tienen el punto. Ajá, todas las cosas punto. Ok, so then, si le ponen el punto, aunque esté buena. Sí, miren, eso es. Esto tiene que llevar el punto al final. Ok, en esto, aunque correctamente debería llevarlo, porque es el final de la oración, ok. Pero por si le salen malas a ustedes, es por eso, right? The period, the period at the end. Ok, no questions about this vocabulary? No question. Ok, good. So then, for example, you have to say, what is your job? For example, you can say, I am a supervisor. Ok, I am a receptionist. Eh, I am a Secretary, ah, secretary, okay, it's another one that we use. Um, what else? ¿Qué otros, ¿Qué otros puestos hay en su, en su trabajo? Así que ocupan los, your workmates, que ocupen sus compañeros de trabajo. Eh, drivers, eh, managers, manager assistant, manager assistant. Eh, what else? Uh, we have uh, man a production manager, okay. So those are the different occupations that you can find. Okay, then the next one is the 
By the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when asking simple present questions. Pronunciation. Listen to this. Solo escuchamos esto y nos vamos. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when asking simple present WH questions. Native English speakers reduce or omit many different <clears throat> words. This is the reason why you may not understand a program on TV, even though you understand the script or dialogue in writing. This is a big pronunciation topic. However, in this class, we will talk about the reduction of do and does. Pronunciation. Reduction of do and does. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of do and does. Where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? Where do they work? What do they do? If we analyze the first example, where do you work? If you notice, do you are sort of like underlined at the bottom. Essentially, what we're trying to explain by this is that we are connecting those two words. This is called linking in English. So when that happens, the sound changes from being where do you work to where do you work. As I mentioned, this is a very big pronunciation topic, which you learn by listening carefully and repeating. So let me read out the examples without the reduction and with the reduction of do and does so that you can have a better idea. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they do? Now, I would like for you to practice and also to watch your favorite TV program in English. Okay. So if you see, this is the, what we do. Esto nosotros lo hacemos en español. Sí o no? Okay. Cuando ya uno habla de su idioma, muchas veces no no pronuncia palabra por palabra, okay? So we say, for example, eh, eh, decimos más o menos. Se oye como más o más o menos. Aquí no decimos más o menos. Eh, another, another word you say, for example, eh, help me, ayúdeme con otra palabra que usamos en Spanish. Que usamos, decimos, que usamos, que usamos. Ahí decimos no que usamos, sino que usamos, ni que usamos, ni que usamos, que usamos. Otra palabra que usamos, es como un key, right? Entonces, eso, para alguien que está aprendiendo el idioma, a veces se le dificulta. Entonces, a veces nos sucede a nosotros cuando decimos esto, where do you work, where do you work, where do you work? O sea, where do you work, where do you work, where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he? Does he? No suena el he. No, where does he work? No, where does he? Se omite el sonido de J, right? Where does he work? Where do they, where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do, what do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? And what do they do? And then this is, for example, that reduction of do and does. Okay, questions? You have, do you have, do you have any questions? English. And notice the reduction of do and does. No problem, I suppose. Okay, then tomorrow we're going to have, for example, the questions with a uh, third person. Then we have also the placement adjectives of adjectives in a conversation. Okay, tomorrow we're going to have 
Also, those kids. <laughs> Why, Jennifer? With the pronunciation. Okay. Teacher, solo mía. Huh? Solo mía. Why? Esa palabra es unida. Solo mía. Solo mía. Solo mía. Uh -huh. Solo mía. Yes, solo mía. Yes, that's true. Yes. Yes, Jennifer. Ajá, para el más o menos. Ándale, yes. Me say dos letras. Dos letras. Bueno. Yes. Ajá. Para el más o menos. Ok, good. <laughs> That's funny. Good. Me aprendí algo nuevo. Good, nice. Ok, good. Excellent. So we're going to stop here, people, tomorrow, Thursday, right? So tomorrow we have the, uh, the rest of this section. Si tienen alguna pregunta sobre el test, me avisan, ¿ok? También para poderlo ver. Vamos a ver al final parte del examen del midterm por si hay algunas dudas o preguntas, ¿ok? So, have a good night and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. See you. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.